Hello everyone, hope you find yourself having a great day. I've got a new tutorial for you today. This one has to do with Photoshop and it's probably going to be one of the fastest sky replacement tutorials you've seen. So let's get started. I've got on my desktop a couple of pictures. Got a lake scene and what we're going to do is up top we're going to replace this washed out hazy sky with this photo. These all came off of Google Images, so you'll be able to find a wide variety of any kind of pictures you want as far as using skies. So let's get started. I'm going to drag these guys into Photoshop, let them go, and we're going to make a copy of this. I'm going to do Control A, Control C, and then move over to our image that we're going to manipulate. I'm going to just paste that in by doing Control V. Okay. Now we're going to duplicate this background. We're going to need two copies of it, so I'm going to drag down here and make a layer copy. And we're going to separate the two copies by the, with the sky that we're going to use to replace this. Now this is the neat part. If you take this first layer of the image we're going to manipulate, and double click it, you'll see that we've got uh, an area here that says blend if gray. And what we're going to do is this area here, this little slider bar, we're going to slide it over to the, towards the middle until we see the majority of this sky disappear. So we're just going to drag that this direction and we're going to keep an eye out here on the uh, mountain side here and if any of it begins to disappear we're going to back off of our slider adjustment and you can see how some of it starting to disappear we're going to back off just a touch okay take a look at our sky here again and I'm going to answer okay for now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this cloud layer and my move tool I'm going to move it up so that it's in the scene nicely or we've got clouds that are coming down in a way that uh, looks like they belong in the scene. Then I'm going to go back into this background copy on the top. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to take and do an alt click on this area that we slided. Alt click and I'm going to separate them too. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play around with the values here. I'm going to brighten them up or reduce them so that I can get the most believable blend on these clouds. Something about like that. Okay. And you see if we zoom in here we've got nice detail on these ridges where the cloud was and uh, getting very believable so what do we need to do now well what we've got to do is remove the remainder of this image so what we can do is select that image of the clouds that we've replaced with and get a nice big fat eraser and what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here and follow close to that edge without getting into it too much up around this area we're just going to follow that perimeter of those mountain ridges to kind of carve this out and get herself established. At this point we can hide that top layer and go in here and erase the remainder that's on the hillside and not actually part of the clouds. If you leave a little bit of that it almost looks like a nice little hazy ridge coming in but uh, you can take care of this pretty quick with a good eraser and get all that part that's not actually part of your mountains out of your scene and take a look at that and let me turn that back on what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna race a little bit right here in this little valley just so that I can lighten up that snowbank just give it a little bit more believable and I think we've got it alright I hope this helped you guys remember if you like my channel please comment rate and subscribe and I'll talk to you later bye bye